Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you a 1964 Philadelphia Jim Mint proof like Roosevelt dime. I seen a video on uh, JB Coins Inc. here a while back, and it was about 64 dimes. And I checked mine, and lo and behold, it's none of the good ones. Just like my luck, none of the good ones. But, I'd almost forgot I had this until I seen that video. Let me get it to focus here. There it is. When I shine the light on it, you can see the proof-like finish. It is full bands. It's in meticulous. It's been meticulously cared for over the years, no doubt. I picked this up from the pawn shop that I used to go to, I do believe. That thumbprint better be on the cellophane, and it is. Now you look at the condition of this, 1964 dime. If my cam camera would cooperate, I swear I'm getting another camera. I swear I am. I'm supposed to have already had it. This thing is in phenomenal condition. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so I will leave you guys with that. You get that in there a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. Now come on, it's setting still. Why is it out of focus? Maybe if I did this. Nope. Same thing. Isn't it ridiculous? This is what I've come to, fighting with my camera to make a video. Isn't that awesome? You guys, please forgive the blurriness and stuff in my videos. I've fought and fought and fought with this camera for over a year now. Well, it's a camera phone is what it is. And uh, usually it does a pretty good job. But here lately, it's been uh, it's been going in and out of focus like that right there. I'm supposed to have had a camera here already, but I believe I've got uh, messed over on the deal. So, you guys stay healthy, be safe, I love each and every one of you. And don't forget to check that pocket change, because you never know what you got in your pocket, until you look. 